Carlisle High School basketball player now charged with willful injury after a fight last night in a game against Nevada. Police say 17 year old Chad Parasil threw a punch at an opposing team member and knocked him out. And the injured player also needed stitches. KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel has the story and the video tonight that's going viral. We're at Carlisle High School where students we spoke with say everybody today is talking about the big fight. I'm ready. Go Cats. The Carlisle Nevada basketball game just ended and the players were in the postgame handshake line. That's when the fight began. Take a close look. Instead of shaking hands, it appears Carlisle player number four throws a couple surprise punches and Nevada player number five. The first punch to the stomach, the second punch to the jaw. The Nevada player appears to be knocked out as he falls to the floor. Several more students join in the fight. It was a shock for those fans watching the game and those seeing it blow up later on social media. I was like, dang. <laughs> that, was pretty, that was pretty rough. Do you think it was appropriate? Um, I think they could have handled their, their argument in a different way. School officials confirmed the Carlisle player is Carter Prentice Hill. The Nevada player is Ty Dittmer. Prentice Hill was not in classes at Carlisle High School today. In a statement to KCCI, Carlisle Superintendent Bryce Amos says, quote, This is without question an unfortunate incident that is not representative of the school culture that exists in Carlisle Community School District. I want to make it clear that this type of conduct is not tolerated at Carlisle CSD. Nevada Superintendent Dr. Steve Gray sent us a statement saying, quote, It was a very unfortunate and disturbing situation. Fortunately, it sounds like our student athlete is going to be all right. I'm very appreciative of the response of our coaches and players, as well as the Carlisle administration, for quickly de-escalating the situation. Some students we talked to say the two players traded insults during the game, which may have led to the fight. I think Carter, Carter definitely took it too far. He shouldn't have swung at him or anything. It wasn't that big of a deal, and he just took it a step too far. And not only is the Carlisle School District investigating, but now they've called in Carlisle Police. Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News